Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q5 with MMI system and this is how the screen looks and this is like uh, this is how the control uh, control wheel looks over here. Let me just turn on the lights. And over here I have OBD11 which I'm going to use to enable the um, driving school mode. Actually, I was able to en um, uh, to turn it on over here, but let me show you uh, which four adaptation channels you need to change. So first of all, when you are connected to the car, you are going to scroll down to module 5F, which is the MMI head unit. And over here we are going to enter adaptation. And in adaptation we are um, looking for... You, I'm using the search um, the search bar over here to enter a car and we are looking for channel called uh, car function list can generation 2 and over here we are looking for driving school um, mode which needs to be enabled and driving school message bus which need to which needs to be set to data bus infotainment okay let's go back and there were um, other things over here in channel car function adaptations generation 2 over here we are looking for school and though there are two val values that need to change over here the menu display driving school set it to active and menu display driving school over threshold high set it to active those four things in total needs to be changed over here after that you can disconnect from the vehicle then use the reboot procedure to um, uh, turn on the uh, MMI system again and once it's rebooted you need to uh, go to menu then uh, go to then go to car and over here in car you are going to set driver assist and there's going to be an option at the end which is called driving school mode and when this is enabled um, basically what you will get is a screensaver after 5 or 10 seconds of doing uh, doing uh, nothing over here you should get this uh, this display which shows you current speed and the indicators so when i'm using the left indicator you will see it on the display right one as well i'm uh, i'm indoors right now so i cannot check the uh, speedometer over here but i believe it will also work correctly Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.